Hey, so uh, I'm here with Bambi, actually. She's the one filming on Halloween. She stopped by and literally came with the video camera and said she wants uh, three pieces of advice on what I would tell entrepreneurs. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So just for a little background, I actually started my first company right out of law school. It was called iMall. It was the first online shopping mall back in 1994. Uh, after that, as you know, uh, Bambi, because you did the first interview, we did MySpace, and we, I sold that to Rupert, and now we started Demand Media. I also, during that time, helped build a great company called Great Domains, but it hasn't all been successful. I also tried to turn around uh, drcoop.com, which ended up going into bankruptcy. So uh, I've had a lot of wins, some losses, learned a lot. I'd say my three words of advice are, one, everyone's going to tell you that your great idea doesn't make any sense. Uh, when I was doing iMall, they told me small businesses would never come on the web. When we were doing MySpace, they said people are advertised are never going to advertise on social networks. And on great domains, they said, oh, domain names, they're eight bucks. No one's going to want to buy them for millions of dollars. So the first, the first advice is your dumb idea may actually be really smart. And the fact that people don't get it is actually a positive. Because if everybody got it, everybody would already be doing it. So uh, I'd say the second tip is uh, similar to the first, is just don't give up. It is so hard being an entrepreneur. Um, I was just telling somebody the other day that was saying, one day I feel like it's going to be a success, and the next day I feel like it's going to fail. Uh, I always feel like I'm on either the brink of greatness or the brink of complete failure at all times. Still today, I have questions about what we're doing, and the other days I'm so excited about them. So uh, just believe in yourself and keep on going. And the third one is surround yourself with great people. Uh, the biggest mistake entrepreneurs make is if there's people that don't agree with them, they sometimes don't want to hire them, you need a lot of people around you giving you a lot of great advice. And even if it's not what you agree with, in the end, it's your call. But take their advice, good or bad, and filter that and come out with what you think is the right answer. Um, and hiring great people is really important because they bring great people. If you have an organization that has mediocre people, they bring mediocre people. So, uh, hey, the three advices are, if you've got a great idea and no one else agrees, that's great. If you really believe in it, keep doing it. The second one is, it's hard being an entrepreneur. Some days are great, some days are bad. Keep on pushing forward. And the third is, surround yourself with great people. And maybe next time you crash my office, I'll come up with three more ideas, I promise. And uh, I'll continue to give you great ideas on only one place, Vader.tv. Thanks, Bambi. Now get out of my office. Goodbye.